And now let's take a look at Ireland's plan for the nearly 14 billion pounds or 15.6 billion dollars tax bill from a recent Apple court ruling. The windfall is uh, the result of an order by the European Union's top court for Apple to pay the bill. The Irish Prime Minister has said this tax boon will be used for housing, energy and water infrastructure. Harris said that he will use his upcoming budget plan to outline his plans for the unexpected windfall. Uh, the tax boon is the equivalent of 14% of the government spending this year or some £2,700 for every person. Harris's budget is just days away and record corporate tax revenues from Ireland's many international corporations are already helped propel Harris's budget plan. This does not even account for the bonanza from Apple. Despite the windfall, the revenue has yet to be meaningfully translated into fixes for Ireland's major infrastructure challenges. The country faces a chronic housing shortage, water constraints and a stretched electricity grid. Harris uh, in a Bloomberg interview said there is no doubt housing and, uh, and water supply is the most serious economic and social issue in Ireland, the Premier added. I think it's appropriate in our budget that we provide clarity as to the principles we'll apply as to how to invest it. The windfall gives Harris a significant political tool as he faces a March 2025 deadline to call a new election. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.